Hello, in this video, let's discuss second question from today's biweekly contest. You are given an integer array nums of length n, where nums is the permutation of integers in the range 1 to n. XOR triplet is XOR of three elements, V of i XOR, V of g XOR, V of k, where i less than or equal to j less than or equal to k. Return the number of unique XOR triplets from all possible triplets. A permutation is a rearrangement of all elements of a set. So, and the values of length can go up to 1 if i, and the values can go till n, where nums is the permutation of integers from 2 to n. So what is the permutation exactly? It will contain all elements from 1 to n in any order. So 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, all these are permutations of length 3 because they all have numbers from 1 to 3 in any order. So let's start discussing it. Let's say the length is 5 and the values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because anyway it is a permutation. So let's assume this is the one and let's try to find the possible XOR of doubles of pairs. So 1 XOR 2 is 3, 1 XOR 3 is 2. 1 0 4 is 5 and 1 0 5 is 4 and so on we can just try to enumerate all the possible ways pair XORs and we can find that all values are from 0 to 7 because sorry from 1 to 7 all the values of XORs are possible from 1 to 7 because there is no value 0 because we can take i less than or equal to j as well so okay so we can take normal values as well same values so it can be from 0 to 7 so we found that all the values that are possible are 0 to 7 for n is equal to 5. So here it is 1 and here it is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and 0 if we take equal values. So we found this but the value but the answer is asked for double uh, for triples. So how can we do this? We found that values are from 0 to 7 but this is for a pair because we have only considered two values at time but we want for all triplets right. So let's example let's take the same set again and now here we have 1 or 2 is 3 so we found that 0 to 7 all values can be written as some XOR of some pair so here 2 also can be written as XOR of some other pair because we found that all values of 0 to 7 can be written as some XOR of 2 numbers so 1 or 2 similarly for 1 or 2 2 can be written as XOR of 2 numbers so now it became triple triplet so similarly let's take this the last one and even for 5, it belongs to the range 0 to 7. So we can say that 5 can be written as 0 of 2 numbers. So now again it became a triplet. And similarly for all values, we can fix the first one and we can make the second one 0 of 2 other values. And finally we are sure that we got 0 to values for all triplets. Because we got for double and for every double, we, have, we got that it can be written as some other. So second value can be written as some other 2. Because i less than or equal to j less than or equal to k, we can get the same indices as well. So we found finally that we are sure that all values of from 0 to 7 are possible for all triplets. But for, for n is equal to 5, we found answer is 7 by just by brute force. So we written the values of all pairs and found that the maximum value is 7. So why is the value only 7 and not 15? But not any other value, but why only 7? So now coming to this, let's say the array we have is 1 to 3. So what is the maximum possible XOR? So if we take the value of XOR for 1 to 2, it will be 3. Because the MSB will be 1 and LSB also 1, so value is 3. And similarly for 1, 2, 3, 4, the value is 7. Because we can take 3 and 4. Right? And now if similarly if we try to do for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we found initially it was 7. So it is 7 for this as well. And let's come for this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So for example, we found the answer for before 1. And now we are trying to add next value to check whether the answer is going to increase or not because for 4 to 5 there is no change initially also the value is 7 maximum value and even after adding 5 it is 7 so where it can change so even for 1 to 6 the highest XOR values will be for 3 or 4 or even for 6 and 1 even then the value is 7 so even for 1 to 6 the maximum value is 7 and even for 1 to 7 the value is 7 so for, for 1 to 3 it is 3 for all permutations of length 4, 5, 6, 7, other 7. And similarly, if we try to take for 8, let's take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So then the answer will be 15. So for example, let's take the 15 is 1, 1, 1, 0. So for example, if we take the value 8 and if we take 7, so the value of XOR of these will be 15 because there because the XOR is 1, 1, 1, 1 and it is 15. So for value of n, for value of 8, we found 15. So similarly for all values till 15, the answer is 15. So if we try to observe one thing, 
the value of new XOR will be increased only if the upcoming value is 2 power something. So here it is 4. So the value is changed from 3. And similarly for 2, 3 for 2, 3 it is 3. So initially for value of 2 it is changed and now for value of 4 it is changed and for value of 8 it is changed. Because we can take 2 power n and we can take 2 power n minus 1. Because the all bits will the bitwise end of 2 power n and 2 power n minus 1 will be 0. So if we take this XOR, the XOR will be maximum for all bits. So we found that the value of XOR is going to increase only if the permutation starts from the length of 2 power n. So for example, for n is equal to 5, the value of size can be written by as 1 zero because it is 5. And now we found that for 5, answer is 7. The maximum value of XOR not answer. The maximum value of XOR is 7. So it is 1 1 1. But why it is 1 1 1? Because uh, for 1, because there are 3 bits here and the answer will be 1 1 1 in 3 bits. So it will be 2 power 2 plus 2 power 1 plus 2 power 0. Because only then the maximum value will be there because all bits are 1. So for 1 0 1, the answer is 1 1 1. So we can observe that we can find the maximum number of the maximum set bit for n is equal to 5. And then we can fill all values with 1 and then that will be answered. So for n is equal to 5, we found that msb is 2 because there are 3 bits, we, they have 3 bits and now the maximum value will be 1 1 1 because 3 bits and the maximum value will be when all bits are 1. So the value will be 7. So the maximum value is 7 and we can get 0 for any any pair, any triplet. So the value will be 0 to 7. The least is 0 and the maximum is 7. So the answer is 8. So we found that irrespective of the permutation, we are always sure that we can get any value of XOR for any triplets. And from that we understood that the value of XOR is going to increase only if the permutation is of length n, which is 2 power something. So we found that binary value of size is 101 and the maximum value will be all ones. And then the answer will be 2 power n, where n is msb plus 1. So the code is very simple. If n is less than 3, return n. Because for n is equal to 1 or 2, it is 1 or 2 itself. And for other values, we are trying to return 2 power. So it is left shift out error. So 1 less than less than x equal to 2 power x. So 1 left left shift out error. MSB plus 1. So MSB is log 2 power log n to the base 2. So it is we are typecasting into integer. So it will be log 2 log n to the base 2. And we are typecasting to integer and plus 1. So we found that irrespective of the vector, if we have a permutation of length n, it is just enough to find the number of bits in that. And we can try to use all ones and we can get a 2 power n value. So the main observation is this. We are going to change only the value of XOR is going to change only for 2 power something. So hope you understand this. If you have any comments, if you have any doubts, comment below. Drop a like. See you in the next video.